you're probably watching this video after watching this other video where I scored all of the points on the 2023 Masterpiece Challenge. And you're probably wondering what the heck this first attachment actually does. Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, we're going to explain it. This program is going to grab three of the experts, Emily, the visual effects director, Izzy, the skateboarder, and Noah, the sound engineer, is going to score the pushing in the drawer part of the craft creator mission, is going to do the movie set and the rolling camera and the 3D cinema all in one program. I think the first thing that people would notice about this attachment is how huge it is. It takes up almost all of the launch area by itself, but there's a good reason. Large structures like this are often called straddlers because the structure will straddle over one or multiple mission models. You can see a few examples from previous years here. Now, the reason we use straddlers is you can put a lot of different mechanisms over it in order to score points. And also, it allows me to simplify the driving route that the robot actually takes. Notice how in that whole program, the robot only went straight forward or straight backwards. All right, let's talk about what's on this huge mechanism. Let's start with the left side of the robot, which has two motor-powered gates. Now, when the attachment motor runs, both gates open or close at the same time. The back gate opens faster than the front bit gate because when we're doing the 3D cinema task, I don't actually want the front gate to open completely or it's going to crash into the dragon part of it. The front gates will grab Noah the sound engineer from right next to the sound mixer, and the back gates will both accomplish this 3D cinema mission as well as grab Izzy the skateboarder and push the drawer in for the craft creator. Both gates operate simultaneously in order to allow one motor to power both mechanisms. The other mechanism, which is controlled by a motor, is actually a mechanism that uses also a pneumatic cylinder and rubber bands. When the motor flips the pneumatic switch, it actually allows both the rubber bands to flip around the mechanism and it will grab the ring pole for the movie set at the same time. Once this part of the mechanism has had its time to operate, the motor will then flip the switch back, which will lift up the mechanism that grabs the ring pole, allowing the robot to continue forward. The mechanism that actually grabs the ring pole has six free floating pins. Now, when it drops down to grab the ring pole, some of the pins will not actually go all the way down, and some pins will reach the ground. And as long as a couple of the pins reach the ground around the ring pole, this mechanism will successfully grab the ring pole itself. This is actually very similar to another mechanism I used a long time ago in this video. Finally, to accomplish the rolling camera mission, the robot has an inclined plane that will flip down the blocker for the camera. Then later on, it also has another mechanism that will catch on the camera, and then as the robot reverses, it will pull the rolling camera back over the hump of the track, and then when the robot goes forward again, it will let the camera just slide down the hump of the track, going all the way down to the end. Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching the video. Please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel as well. And if you want to hire me to help your FLL team, please do check out my Fiverr account or this email.